Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to do something now which is simply to draw an optical illusion and it's also to make a very important point to consider when you're taking and editing photographs. So let's get started. So we go down to the shapes here and to pick the trapezoid tool and with a snapping set on I'm just going to draw one here to fill up here and then take this dot here, the red dot, and bring that over near to the edge there. And I want to put on the similar the other side. This will do it for me because as I go near the end it'll snap there. So you get that red lines appear. That means it's now nice and symmetrical. I'll make this just a little bit bigger. Now I want to fill this with a mid grey. I'm going to use other greys. A simple way to do it is go to the RGB here on the colour panel and go to grayscale. And then to get 50% grey, I just type 50 there. And there you go, I've got 50% grey. I'm going to hit Control J to duplicate it. And with the Move tool, I'm going to bring this down here so it's clearly the same colour. Do an arrange and flip vertical. So I've got one like this. And I'm going to do a set of steps like this. So I'm going to take the top one again, hit Control J and drag that down to here. And then hit the bottom one, hit Control J and drag that up to here and then just snap them all together. So we've now got a kind of set of steps there, all in mid-grey. Now then we start getting interesting because I take this one here and I'm going to make this one lighter. So I just need to go to up here to the grey and make that 75%. So that's a lighter grey. And this one here, I'm going to make that one 25%. So now it looks like we've got a kind of set of steps here. And the top here and the bottom here, we know are the same. But when we glance at that, it looks like the bottom one here is darker. And the reason for this is that, the, as apart from the fact that there's a, you think it's steps and you might start saying what the step's like, but you expect the risers to be similar. So what you're getting is contrasting effects here. You've got proximity. So because you've got a dark step here, this one here then is influenced by the dark and it looks slightly darker. And this one is influenced by the light and it looks set simply a little just a bit lighter. You're also getting effect where you're going to get a bit of contrast because your mental image of what the step is like and what this riser, the vertical part of the step is like as well. So you get this optical illusion effect. We can go a little bit further as well in the, the way that we trick the brain. And that is in blur. This is when colours, and it's just in black and white here, you get the same effect with any pairs of colours and so on, particularly opposite colours. And I'm just going to turn the radius up here to make this sort of blurred a bit. Then I'm going to hit Control i to invert it so it has got black. Now we need to paint in white on it to bring it back. So with opacity 100%, hardness 0, I'm going to get white on here. And then I click on one end and shift click at the other end. Click on one end and shift click to the other end, draw a straight line. Click on that one and shift click to that end there. So I've now got, it's, it's a smoother movement down here. So this again will increase this fact a bit. Because you've got this blurring in here, this top one will look slightly lighter and the bottom one will look slightly darker again. And this is because the colours are merging together. You've got black pushing into this grey, so it's influencing that colour. Likewise, the light is pushing into the grey here, influencing that. And yet we know, because we just did it, the top colour there and the bottom colour there are exactly the same. So the bottom line is, in your, your pictures, be aware of how adjacent colours are affecting one another and how when they merge together, you get that even colour bleed into it, which affects your perception of the whole thing. Anyway, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.